Welcome to AFD TV. I'm here with Vanessa Gregory, well-known nutritionist and health coach. Welcome, Vanessa. Thank you. We are here to discuss cholesterol and nutrition. Uh, Vanessa, how do we fight cholesterol naturally with food? Well, it is absolutely possible to lower your cholesterol naturally with food. There is a time and place for medications for high cholesterol when someone's cholesterol is really high at dangerous levels. There's not a one-size-fits-all number with cholesterol, although we tend to think there is. Certain bodies will produce more cholesterol than other bodies, depending on liver function. But, but there, there are ways to um, fight bad cholesterol through diet. And the best way, once again, is your, the fiber um, in the vegetables. So vegetables are your best way to, to lower cholesterol, as well as fibrous, gluten-free grains, like oatmeal, for example. A good source of oatmeal is very good at lowering cholesterol, and research shows can help lower your cholesterol at least 20% with a bowl of oatmeal daily. So that would be a good way to lower cholesterol. Lean sources of meat instead of fatty meats, avoiding your fattier meats. Good sources of fatty fish is a great way to lower cholesterol, and believe it or not, even eggs. Harvard just released a study that shows that a moderate consumption of eggs can actually lower our bad cholesterol and raise our good cholesterol. So eggs have always, we've always been told to avoid eggs when eggs actually have some benefits at um, balancing our cholesterol levels as well. So a balanced diet of um, vegetables, fruits, and good sources of fatty fish and lean meats are the best way to lower the cholesterol level. Great. What about fish oil? Fish oil helps any kind of beneficial essential fatty acid will help lower bad cholesterol and raise good cholesterol. So fish oil is a good source to help with that as well. Wonderful. Why are we seeing such high cholesterol levels in our children? Well, that, that's probably one of the saddest things for me, is where we are going in terms of health in this country um, with our children. And it's, it's a scary day and age. And the reason that we're seeing high cholesterol in our children, in fact, 12-year-olds tested today, Dr. Sam, have the, the arteries of 45-year-olds. Wow. So that's really scary. But one of the reasons is, is because they start consuming trans fat, partially hydrogenated oils, almost at birth. You can even see these oils, um, these fats in their baby formula. So by the time they're 12 years old, they've consumed quite a lot of trans fat, and we know that these fats contribute to um, high cholesterol. So that's probably the biggest reasons. The high diet of refined and processed foods in our children today are also huge contributors. Once again, they're full of those trans fats and foods that lead to, um, to high cholesterol. So, so those of us who are a little bit older, um, we got a better base in our food and the children today, they're not getting that. So right from the get-go, they, they start eating foods that really, really are um, clogging their arteries. So what are some steps our entire families can follow to gain better health? and better cholesterol. Yes. Well, once again, a proper diet, uh, a diet rich in fiber, and your best source of fiber is always gonna be a vegetable first. So a diet rich, good good amount of vegetables daily, five to seven servings a day, good fi fibrous fruits, and that's not fruit juice, that's eating the fruit, because that's where the fiber comes in. Fiber, you can imagine, acts like a scrub brush for the arteries. So, so fiber-rich foods are going to be your best foods at lowering cholesterol. And like once again, good sources of gluten-free, fibrous grains um, are a good supplement to helping that as well. And there are certain supplements out there, literal supplements that you can buy that will help lower cholesterol. But your best source, once again, is going to be the foods you're eating. Wonderful. So more cooking as a family, That's right. eating at home, That's right. less fast food. Concentration on vegetables and fruit and um, good sources of fiber. Teaching and nutrition in their schools. That's right. That's exactly right. That's exa and, and speaking of that, most of the foods in our schools are cholesterol-laden foods. Um, looking just one month's menu at um, most public school menus, you're going to see um, cholesterol-laden um, lunches there almost And less daily. Krispy Kremes for birthday parties. <laughs> exactly right. That's exactly right. So and every holiday that we have. That's exactly right. And we're setting our children up Valentine's for birthdays. coronary heart disease later in their life. And, sure. and so, yeah, so, so diet is probably the biggest tool to lowering cholesterol, a fiber-rich diet. Yeah. Well, well, very good. Thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. And thank you for watching AFD TV. Have a healthy week.